Yechezkiel El, Ezekiel 29. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, in the twelfth day of the month, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and prophesy against him, and against all Mitzrayim. Speak and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I am against you, Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, the great dragon that lies in the midst of his rivers, which has said, My river is my own, and I have made it for myself. But I will put hooks in your jaws, and I will cause the fish of your rivers to stick unto your scales, and I will bring you up out of the midst of your rivers, and hath all the fish of your rivers shall stick unto your scales. And I will leave you thrown into the wilderness, you and hath all the fish of your rivers. You shall fall upon the open fields. You shall not be brought together, nor gathered. I have given you as food for the beasts of the field, and for the fowls of the heavens. And all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim shall know that I am Yahuwah, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Yashadael. When they took hold of you by your hand, you did break them. Rather, you did break and rend all their shoulder. And when they leaned upon you, you broke and made all their loins to be at a stand. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Behold, I will bring a sword upon you, and cut off man and beast out of you. And the land of Mitzrayim shall be desolate and waste, and they shall know that I am Yahuwah, because he has said, The river is mine, and I have made it. Behold, therefore I am against you, and against your rivers, and I will make the land of Mitzrayim utterly waste and desolate, from the tower of Senaneh, rather, Chevaneh, even unto the border of Cush. No foot of man shall pass through it, nor foot of beasts shall pass through it, neither shall it be inhabited forty years. And I will make the land of Mitzrayim desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and her cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate forty years. And I will scatter the Mitzrayim among the nations and will disperse them through the countries. Yet thus says Adonai Yahuwah, At the end of forty years will I gather the Mitzrayim from the people whither they were scattered. And I will bring again at the captivity of Mitzrayim, and will cause them to return into the land of Pathrak, into the land of their habitation, and they shall be there a base kingdom. It shall be the basest of kingdoms, neither shall it exalt itself any more above the nations, for I will diminish them, that they shall no more rule over the nations, and it shall be no more the confidence of the house of Yashadael, which brings their iniquity to rem rem remembrance when they shall look after them. But they shall know that I am Adonai Yahuwah. And it came to pass in the seven and twentieth year, in the first month, in the first day of the month, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, caused at his army to serve a great service against Saur. Every head was made bald, and every shoulder was peeled. Yet had he no wages, nor his army, for Saur, for the service that he had served against it. 
Therefore thus says Adonai Yahweh, Behold, I will give us the land of Mitzrayim unto Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, and he shall take her multitude, and take her spoil, and take her prey, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him at the land of Mitzrayim for his labor, wherewith he served against it, because they wrought for me, says Adonai Yahuwah. In that day will I cause the horn of the house of Yashorael to bud forth, and I will give you the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am Yahuwah.